today we are going to make conclusion of the course computational protein modeling and analysis. Here you had gone through the basic biology, microbiology, molecular biology, basics of computer, bioinformatics and modeling. I hope this course will help you to design your own structure and its analysis through different online tools. In this course, you have learned the basic biology, basics of computers, basics of proteins, about bioinformatics and different alignment tools, different types of database search related to the bioinformatics, modeling software modelers, different types of modeling servers, protein structure, visualization tools and protein structure validation tools. Now, we will revise each topic one by one in brief so that you will have a glimpses about the coverage of your course. In the basic biology part, we can say part one, you have learnt about cell biology. In this section, our experts covered following points. First one is cell structure, then cell function, then cellular process, cell types, then cellular specialization, cell cycle, cell regulation and diseases. First we take up cell structure, cell membrane. Cell membrane is the also known as plasma membrane. It separates the cell from external environment and regulates the passage of substances in and out of the cell. That means, it is the outer coverage of uh, a cell. Then we come to cytoplasm. Cytoplasm is a gel like substance which is inside the cell and where organelles are suspended. Organelles, these organelles are specialized structures within the cell each performing a specific function. Some examples includes nucleus, mitochondria, endoplasmic, reticulum, Golgi apparatus, lysosomes and chloroplasts in case of plant cells. Then cell function, how the cell is functioning, what is the functions different type of function which is taking place inside the cell. In this sequence, first is metabolism. Metabolism means cell carry out various biochemical reactions to obtain energy and build molecular necessary for life processes. Then cell division, cell reproduces through the processes like mitosis and meiosis. Mitosis leads to the formation of two identical daughter cells, whereas meiosis produces sex cells, sperm and egg with half the chromosome numbers. Cellular processes, how this process of reproduction, cell division, everything is happening, what are the processes which is taking place in the cellular cellular processes that we will brief here. First in this sequence is DNA replication and transcription. This process of replication and transcription we can understand cells replicate and transcribe genetic information stored in DNA creating RNA molecules, protein synthesis this is very important uh, process performed by the cell. Protein synthesis, here cell use the information in the RNA to build protein through a process called translation. Cell signaling, cell communicate with each other various cells are there which is which are communicating with each other they use signaling molecules to regulate various processes such as growth 
development and immune responses endocytosis and exocytosis cell takes in substances through endocytosis and expels them out via exocytosis both involving the cell membranes you understand that whenever anything is to be taken into the cell or it is to be expelled out of the cell a membrane is there a particular reaction a system is there so this endocytosis and exocytosis takes this process of in and out from the cell membrane various types of cell you had studied prokaryotic cells it is the simple cell without a nucleus or membrane bound organelles bacteria and archaea are examples of prokaryotic cells eukaryotic cells this is another type of cell it is a complex cell with a nucleus essentially and a membrane bound organelles plants animals fungi protists are the example of eukaryotic cells here whatever the component we had just explained a figure is there here every component has been shown this is for eukaryotic cell and this is for prokaryotic cell so a structure is there now cellular specialization this is a term terminology for a specific purpose which is performed by cell we can understand this by differentiation differentiation is a process by which cell become specialized for a specific function function this leads to the formation of tissues and organs in multicellular organisms various types of cell we can take up next interphase interphase means the period of cy cell cycle when the cell is not dividing that means from its formation to the point of before di division it consists of g1 that means cell growth time and s dna synthesis and second part is g2 where cell is preparation for division phase so th thus you had studied g1 and g2 in the g1 dna synthesis and cell growth is included whereas in g2 phase preparation for division is included mitotic phase this is another phase where mitotic phase we we call it it includes mitosis nuclear division and cytokinetesis that means cytoplasmic division so both type of division has been covered in this mitotic phase it results in two genetically identical daughter cells cell regulations and diseases you had studied about the very commonly known nowadays cancer cancer means when the cell division is uncontrolled there is no control over the number of cells to be produced then it is known as cancer uncontrolled cell division and its growth understanding cell biology is crucial for studying cancer and developing treatments once we understand the cell biology microbiology how does the cell is growing and how it is growing divisions are taking place then only we can understand the process of formation of cancers which leads to us for treatment and diagnosis apoptosis it is a program cell death that means cell is having a particular life and when its life ends it is programmed inside the cell so this is apoptosis 
it is essential for development and maintaining tissue homeostasis cell biology cell biology basically is a fundamental to various scientific disciplines including genetics physiology medicine and biotechnology researchers in this field continue to uncover intricate details about cell structure and function which leads to advancement in medicine and biotechnology applications in the basic biology part 2 you have learnt about microbiology in this section you have learnt about types of microorganisms microbial physiology and genetics microbial ecology medical microbiology industrial microbiology environmental microbiology and virology microbiology is the branch of biology that deals with microorganisms which are microscopic organisms too small to be seen with the naked eye these microorganisms include bacteria viruses fungi protozoa algae and archaea microbiologist study the biology of microorganisms their interaction with humans animals plants and the environment as well as their potential application in various fields here are some key aspects of microbiology types of microorganisms bacteria first we will take about bacteria you had studied that it is a single celled organism with a simple structure they can be found in various environments and they play important roles in nutrient cycling digestion and diseases viruses viruses these are tiny infectious agents that can only replicate inside the cell of the other organisms they are responsible for many diseases in humans animals and plants so here in case of viruses you had definitely understood that this is not uh, this is not uh, living things but it is a particular group of proteins which uh, which needs to have a cell environment for their development their multiplication now fungi fungi is it includes yeasts and molds some fungi are beneficial like those used in baking and brewing while other can cause diseases protozoa single celled eukaryotic organisms some of which can cause diseases like malaria and amoebic dysentery algae algae also you had studied algae are photosynthetic microorganisms that can be unicellular or even multicellular they are essential for aquatic ecosystem and are used in various industrial applications archaea it is also single celled organism similar to bacteria but with the distinct genetic and biochemical characteristics they are often found in extreme environments such as hot springs and deep sea vents 
microbial physiology and genetics under this you had understood metabolism metabolism whenever microorganisms play crucial role in nutrient cycling breaking down organic matter and producing important compounds like oxygen and nitrogen genetics microbiologist study the genetic makeup of microorganisms including their dna rna and how genetic information is transferred and regulated microbial ecology under this you had studied about microbial interaction which is studying of microorganisms interact with each other other organisms and their environment bio geochemical cycle microorganisms are vital in cycling elements like carbon nitrogen sulfur and phosphorus through the ecosystem medical microbiology under this pathogens pathogens means understanding disease causing microorganisms and how they infect host immunology under this you had covered study of the immune systems response to infections and developing vaccines antibiotics and antimicrobial resistance this is discovering antibiotics and understanding how microorganisms develop resistance to them industrial microbiology under this section the biology and microbiology their applications in the industrial area in the domain of industry under this you had studied about fermentation process using microorganisms to produce product like beer wine yogurt and biofuels biotechnology biotechnology is the section of microbiology where we understand the harnessing of microorganisms for genetic engineering gene therapy and the production of pharmaceutical en and enzymes environmental bi microbiology definitely it concerns with the environment so bio remediation under this environmental bio microbiology bio remediation means using microorganisms to clean up pollutants in the environment microbial diversity means exploring and understanding the vast diversity of microorganisms in various ecosystems microbiology is a diverse and rapidly advancing field with application in medicine agriculture environmental science and biotechnology microbiologist continue to explore and manipulate microorganisms to solve real world problems and improve various aspects of human life and the environment virology it relates with the study of virus virology is the branch of microbiology that deals with the study of viruses and viral diseases viruses are microscopic infectious agents that can only replicate inside living cells of organisms including bacteria 
plants, animals and humans. Unlike other microorganisms, viruses are not considered living organisms because they cannot carry out the basic life processes without a host cell. That means, parasiting is a nature. Instead, they consist of genetic materials DNA or RNA enclosed in a protein coat called capsid. Here are some key aspects of virology, a virus structures. Capsid, capsid is the protein coat surrounding the viral genetic material. Genetic material, viruses can have DNA or RNA as their genetic material. Some viruses have single strand RNA while other have double strand DNA among other varia variations. Envelope, some viruses have an additional outer lipid membrane derived from the host cell which surrounds the capsid in certain viruses. Viral replications is very important one of the point where replication can be understood attachment and entry. How the virus gets attached and get entry into the cell for further division. Attachment and entry viruses attach to specific receptors on the surface of host, host cell and enters the cell often by fusing with the host cell membrane or being engulfed by the cell. Replication and transcription. Viral genetic material is replicated and trans transcribed within the host cell to produce new virus component. Assembly. New viral particles are assembled from the replicated components within the host cell. Then release. Newly formed viruses are released from the host cell. Often in this process of release, they destroy the cell viral diseases. Under this pathogenesis, that means it is a study of how viruses cause diseases in their host organisms. Epidemiology, a study of how viruses spread within population and how to control their spread. Prevention and treatment, it concerns with developing vaccines and antiviral drugs to prevent and treat viral infections. Various types of viruses you had studied. One of them is DNA viruses. Viruses with DNA as their genetic material, for example, herpes virus and adenoviruses. Similarly, another type of virus is RNA viruses. These are the virus with RNA as their genetic material including influenza viruses and HIV. Retroviruses, this is another type of virus where RNA viruses that use reverse transcripts to convert their RNA genome into DNA, integrating it into host cell genomes, for example, HIV. Prions, unusual infectious agents composed of misfolded proteins causing other proteins to misfold and aggregate. Virology research, molecular virology, it is a study of the molecular mechanisms 
of viral replication and interaction with host cell. A structural virology, it deals with the investigation of the three dimensional structure of viruses and their compo components. Medical virology, Fo it focuses on the study of viruses that causes human diseases and development of diagnostic vaccines and treatments. Virology is essential for understanding infectious diseases, developing vaccines, antiviral drugs and diagnostic methods. Virologists play a crucial role in public health helping to control the spread of viral infections and mitigate their impact on human and animal populations. In the basic biology part 3, you had learnt about the molecular biology. In this section, you had learnt about DNA structure and replications, transcription and RNA processing, translation and protein synthesis, gene regulation, genetic engineering and recombinant DNA technology, molecular genetics and genomics. DNA repair and mutation, applications in medicine and biotechnology. Molecular biology, under this you had covered molecular biology as a branch of biology that explores biological activities at the molecular level. It focuses on understanding the structure and function of biological molecules, particularly the interactions between DNA, RNA, proteins and the process of replication, transcription and translation. Here are some key aspects of molecular biology. One by one you had studied, I will just revise it for you. Number one is DNA structure and replication. DNA double helix. The iconic structure of DNA discovered by Watson and Crick's consists of two intertwined strands of nucleotides. Replication, it is the process by which DNA makes identical copy of itself during the cell division and ensures genetic continuity. Transcription and RNA processing, transcription and RNA processing. Transcription, it is the synthesis of RNA from a DNA template. This process creates messenger RNA, mRNA we call it, which carries the genetic information from DNA to the ribosomes. RNA splicing in trans non-coding regions are removed. Whenever we go for a splicing of RNA, we are going to remove non-coding regions that we call introns and exons that is the coding region which is important and useful. These are joined together to form mature mRNA. RNA types, besides mRNA there are other types of RNA such as transfer RNA which we denote by tRNA and ribosomal RNA which we denote by rRNA, each with specific functions in the protein synthesis. Translation and protein synthesis, here you had studied how the translation is responsible for protein synthesis. So, translation is the process 
by which mRNA is decoded and translated into the amino acids forming a polypeptide chain that means it is the protein chain. Genetic code, genetic code is the sequence of nucleotides in mRNA determines the sequences of amino acid in a protein. Ribosomes, ribosomes are molecular ma machines that facilitates the assembly of amino acid into polypeptide chains. Gene regulations, operons common in bacteria operons are cluster of genes under the control of a single promoter and operator allowing coordinated regulation. Eukaryotic gene regulation in eukaryotic gene expression is regulated by transcription factors enhancers and other complex mechanisms. Genetic engineering and recombinant DNA technology. Under this genetic engineering and recombinant DNA technology, you had covered recombinant DNA, CRISPR or COS9. Recombinant DNA, it is related with techniques to combine DNA from different sources allowing the creation of genetically modified organisms, GMOs and the production of useful proteins like insulin and vaccines. CRISPR COS9 it is a revolutionary technology for precise gene editing. It allows modifications in a specific DNA sequences. Molecular genetics and genomics. Under this genome sequencing, functional genomics had been covered. Genome sequencing is determining the complete DNA sequences of an organism's genome, whereas functional genomics is pertaining to a study of gene functions on a large scale, often it involves techniques like microarrays and next generation sequencing, DNA repair and mutation, DNA repairs it is the mechanisms that correct errors in DNA replication and respond to DNA damage maintaining genomic stability. Whereas, mutation are the changes in the DNA sequence which can be caused by various factors including mutagens and errors during replications. Dear students, I appreciate and congratulate you for completion of your course on computational protein modeling and analysis where you had come across new knowledge. It is related with microbiology, biology, biotechnology, bioinformatics and also the computer, fundamentals of computers and application softwares about that also you had studied. I hope and urge you that you had gone through seriously all the components, all the subsections of this course and might have got benefited and enhancing your knowledge. I also suggest you, advise you to go for deeper probe 
for extension of your knowledge through various studies material which is in line of your coverage in this course and enhance your knowledge base and go through for your desired research in that direction. Once again, I express my best wishes for best learning to all the students who has opted this course. Thank you very much.